Hello guys, Geese Geek here and today we are gonna be discussing about basic recent clocks. They ain't gonna be mad like older ones and others, but they're gonna be simple and easy. So without wasting any time, let's move into the tutorial. I cannot think of a recent clock without uh, including this one. The most basic, well, arguably basic recent clock, uh, it involves of three inverters going into each other. Well, if you have heard of inverter, this is what an inverter looks like. Block, torch, and then uh, bits and pieces. So, uh, yeah, uh, when uh, the block, uh, the inverter block is powered, uh, it goes reston into another inverter, reston into another inverter, rest on the first inverter. So basically, it creates the clock. Uh, we can get output from many different places, like this, this here. We can also get output from out of the torches. And the, the good thing about this clock is it can be toggled on and off. Yeah. That's very great, that's very great. So, here's the recent repeater clock. Um, there's the repeater coming out uh, from the torch, this one, and then indirectly powering the torch itself again. So, we turn on the torch, as you can see. Uh, same with this one, uh, the output can be taken from many different places. And uh, it can also be toggled on and off. That's great. Now this is the smallest clock in Minecraft Redstone. It is one tick clock and uh, it is also known as the comparator clock. Here we have comparator on a subtract mode. How you can see, oops, I just took a screenshot. You can see p no, mode subtract. Here's the hopper comparator clock. It consists of two hoppers, as you can see, going into each other, as you can see here. Uh, and uh, let, uh, one of the hopper has an item inside it. And now let's take a comparator output from one of the hoppers. Uh, it, it's uh, fast, not uh, fast like this, as you can see here, but it is fast, uh, yep it is, and we can also toggle it on and off, as you can see here. Moving on to the next clock. This clock is 1.11 based, as it depends on uh, the observer blocks. Uh, as you can see, uh, we made it toggleable by Pushing the observers uh, into one another, uh, it's not default, but when we turn it on, this piston pushes into each other and then the loop starts. Okay, so these are all about quick delays. Uh, but what if uh, we want longer delays, like controlling the water dispensers in a mop farm? Here's the solution. This is the hopper timer uh, designed by Ito. Uh, and you can control the delay by putting uh, items in hoppers, these hoppers. So the more items, the longer the delay. So I can demonstrate you like this. And uh, it's also toggleable, which is very nice thing. So let's turn it on. As you can see, uh, it should... Yeah, just like this. So that's a very great thing. Uh, if you guys don't understand, I'll be putting a world download in the description so you can see for yourself. So that's it for this episode guys. Please leave a like down below. And wow, gosh, the skin servers are down and my skin is ugly. Uh, well anyways, bye bye.